Hi everyone, it's Miss Patty again. Um, it's been a couple of weeks since I've seen you. Hopefully you all had a very nice spring break, um, Easter vacation and getting ready for all the warm weather. So for today's lesson, you will need your Bible, um, a piece of paper, whether it's color paper, white paper, construction paper, it doesn't matter, um, a pair of scissors and some stuff to color with, um, or maybe even some stickers or anything like that to decorate. So I want you to go ahead and take some time to talk to your family about whether um, you like when things change or not, okay? Do you like when um, the day changes or maybe your plans change or something um, cancels or maybe you were in in-person school and you went to virtual school, okay? Because did you want that to change and how did you handle that? Take a minute to pause the video and spend some extra time talking about it with your family. So now take some time to talk to your family about a time that you have waited for something to happen that was going to be a big change for you. Was it your uh, upcoming birthday or was it um, a grade change? You were going from um, fifth grade to sixth grade to a whole new um, school, okay? Or maybe you're going from preschool to kindergarten. Um, please pause the mini video for a minute and talk about that with your family. How did you feel? Okay, were you excited? Were you nervous? So today, our story is from the book of the Acts in the New Testament of the Bible. Acts is the con continuation of the Gospel of Luke. Luke's Gospel tells the story of Jesus' life and ministry, and Acts tells the story of the disciples' ministry. Our story for today is a bridge between the end of Jesus' ministry and the start of the disciples' ministry. It is a time of waiting and a time of change. Today's Bible is called, story is called The Ascension. The title gives us a hint about the story. Ascension means to go up. Okay, so let's see what happens. If you're reading from your Spark Bible, you're going to turn to page 498. It's a very short story today. Let me get my paper all the way in the back here. Okay, so it's called the Ascension. After Jesus died and rose again, he and his disciples got together near Jerusalem. Jesus had some instructions for them. As you know, God is doing amazing things in the world, he said, and your help is needed. We need you to go tell the stories about me. Tell your friends and your family and everyone that you meet that you've, what you've learned by following me. Be my witness in the world. Then suddenly Jesus was right, right, rising up in the air. What is going on? He was being lifted up to a cloud. Jesus' friends looked around. Two men in white robes had joined them. The men said, why are you just standing there and looking up towards heaven? Don't worry, Jesus will come back one day. Right, said one of Jesus' disciples. Meanwhile, we have some work to do. Let's get going. Ask an adult who loves you to tell you about a story about Jesus and then tell them your story. Tell them one that you know. Wow, Jesus ascended and asked his disciples, I'm sorry, ascended and asked his disciples to wait to the Holy Spirit to come and tell stories about Jesus to the whole world. Just before Jesus ascended to be with God, Jesus asked the disciples to do a really important job. He asked them to be his hands and his feet in the world. We are Jesus' disciples too, and we are his hands and feet in the world today. Jesus' disciples felt all kinds of emotions as they watched Jesus go up into heaven. We don't know exactly how they felt, but we can imagine some of them were amazed. Others were confused or surprised. Maybe some even were angry or sad that he was leaving them again, and soon after he had been risen from the dead. Imagine if you were Jesus when you went up to heaven. Talk about your family and how, talk with your family about how you may have felt. Surprise, fear, wonder, anger, confusion. You can take a minute and pause if you want. When Jesus went up to heaven, changing everything changed to the disciples. They were now the hands and feet of Jesus in the world and were called to be Jesus' hands and the feet in the world today. Since we are all called to be witnesses to Jesus, love around the world, we're going to make cards to pass out or send to people to remind them that Jesus loves them. So get out your paper and let's color. So I have a piece of red paper here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a marker and I'm going to draw some hearts. 
maybe a couple on each page that you have. So I got my paper and I drew some hearts. Now I'm gonna cut those out. Okay, so I'm just gonna cut one out for now. So I have one of my hearts. And I'm writing on there, Jesus loves you. Okay, then feel free to decorate it. Cross. Okay. Maybe a sun or hearts to spread joy and light and positivity around the world. And you can write any message that you want, okay, and send that or leave them around in places that you go to remind everybody that Jesus loves them. So let's say a prayer before we leave. We are your hands and feet in the world. We are witnesses to move for you. Help us move where you need us most. Amen. See you next time.